Hey guys, happy Friday. Wanna wait just a minute? I know there's a little lag time that happens with Facebook, so I want you to be able to have just a minute and pop on here, say hey when you're on here. Hey Kay, hey guys. We're just waiting. We wanna, as you pop on here, say hey. Hey Patricia. I don't know about y'all, there is so pretty today. I'm, I'm loving the sunshine. Hey, Barbara. So um, as you pop on here, tell me where you're tuning in from. And um, I, as always, I just reiterate this every time I do these Finish Fridays. And, you know, we have a new people that come on here, and it's like, I'm, I've just found you. And I'm like, how is that possible? <laughs> um, hey, Susan from New York. But if you have not um, tuned in before, or if this is the first time that you've seen us, my name is Amy Howard, and I have been a decorative artist um, for about 35 years. I'll stop at that. Actually, a little bit longer. But my goal is to be able to teach you how to craft a beautiful life. And so part of the reason why I'm doing today is because I was having a conversation. Well, hey, Gay, Gay Gallagher. Gay, how are you? Oh my gosh, I haven't seen your name in so long. So good to see you. Hey, Shannon. Hey, Michelle. Happy Friday. Friday, of course. Love that. So, um, hey, Joan. So, as you pop on here, just say hey. And, um, oh my gosh, Brenda, I'm so excited about you coming. Pray for good weather. Pray for good weather. We're going to have a great time no matter what. So, um, so let me tell you the reason for today's Finish Friday. I was having a conversation with somebody this past week and they were building a house. And they were telling me about the budget that the builder was giving them for their tile. And I was like, how is that possible? How are you gonna find really great looking tile that cheap? And so what's one of the things that we can also do while she's building, I'm like, I have, I have, something, to, I have something to show you and I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you two things, and then I'm gonna walk you through because hand-painted tiles are all the rage now. The trend is moving away from a lot of things just being white, and things are more about pattern, color, um, hand-painted. We go back even to Delft tile. Does anybody know what Delft tile is? And so this is, um, this is what I'm getting ready to paint. I wanna show you. You can get, this is brand new, and this is pretty ugly, and I'm sorry. If somebody has this, and they'll be like, well, I have that as my floor. Maybe I shouldn't have said that. Anyway, part of the reason why I wanted you to see this, this is a linoleum tile. You can get linoleum in adhesive tiles. Look at this, and I love it because it allows me to be able to put a finish on this, and I can turn around and transform it. Oh. A lucky girl that you have Delft as your backsplash. It's it's back in. So I want you to Google. When we get through with this Finish Friday today, I want you to Google and I want you to go look at things like Ann Sachs Tile. S-A-C-K-S. -S, Ann Sachs. One of my favorite tile companies. But here was what was interesting. As I was talking to this gal, she was talking to her builder. Her budget was, was like nothing. It was like $3.90 for tiles. You can't find a really great looking tile that inexpensive. That's a foot, $3.90 a foot. So I thought, I'm gonna show you how to create something really gorgeous. So guess what I did? I went and I bought the ugly tile like this at, um, at, a, at a home restoration store, whichever one you like going to. I got this one and I got it in ceramic because I wanted to be able to show her. Now look at this. This is what I created. Now, here's what's fun. If you go and you look on companies that have these hand screened or hand painted tiles, you're looking at paying anywhere from $20 a foot upwards to $38, $42 a foot. These are so easy to create, to be able to use as a backsplash. You can repaint the tiles in your bathroom. You can repaint the tiles on your floor. Here's the other cool thing. You can even go and buy these adhesive Formica tiles. We can paint these individually 
and then put them down. And so the other thing is a lot of people have the tiles around their um, tiles around their fireplace mantles, and they're like, I don't like it. I want to be able to upgrade it. I want to make it feel fresher and newer and, and on trend. You can use the one-step paint on stone. You can use it on concrete. You can use it on marble. You can use it on granite. That is part of the beauty of it. And that's what is starting and allowing us to be able to create the looks that we're going to do today. So I started my projects with the one-step paint. The one-step paint allows me to be able to go on top of it. So I'm going to turn this around. As you pop on here, say, hey, tell me where you're tuning in from. Don't forget, share this video, tag some good friends that love to DIY and that you think would enjoy this um, and learning this process that I'm going to show you today on hand painting them. And then your name goes in for a drawing and we're going to be giving away the products that I'm using today. So that's my little happy to you because I say sharing is caring and you guys are just the best to, um, to share this video because we're a beautiful community of people that are so, so supportive. I love my customers. Y'all, my office will tell you I'm a little obsessive about y'all and I want to make sure that you're taken good care of. So we have an incredible team in Memphis that, that does that. So be sure to share this video. Share, share, share. Your name goes in for drawing and we'll be announcing the winner on Monday. And I'm going to pay for the shipping and give you all the product for the winner. So here's the other thing. If you, um, if you want to be able to recreate what I'm doing today, all the products, there's a discount code. And it will be in this feed, um, but you can use the discount code and get 20% off of all the products that I'm using today. So the code is Finish Friday 223. Finish Friday 223. And that code is good through Monday for you to be able to buy all the products that I'm using 20% off. All right, so I'm going to turn this around because I got, I got work to do. I want to show you what it is that we're doing. All right, so I apologize. This, this light gives me a little bit of a glare, doesn't it? So what I wanted to show you is a layout. When we talk about laying out tiles and the process that we're going to go through of going from just a plain white tile, which this is one that I've actually painted. As a rule, these will cost about 15 cents. And I will tell you, you can go to Restore and you can buy these tiles um, by the box and get them really, really inexpensive. But this allows you to be able to start with, and I wanna show you, and it's very important to be able to um, paint them and do the finish on them. But what I wanted you to see, look at this. So we're going from this, just a plain tile that we painted with Bauhaus buff in the one step. And then we're gonna transition to this, which transitions to this, and then we seal it. So I just thought it would be fun. If you were laying out and you're doing a backsplash, as a rule, you're going to want to be able to have your tile pieces that you've got corners, that you've got, depending on how you want to lay them out, and then you'll have your designs. I usually like to have three or four different designs like this that I can have that I'll do place placements and then I've got my spacers. So that way you're just gonna usually have it in a corner and it allows you to be able to lay it out like this. These are fantastic for backsplashes. Um, you can, um, if you already have tiled down and, you, and it's not separate like this, it's very easy guys. <clears throat> All you're gonna do is roll it on. So let me move this off to the side and I wanna show you. And I'm going to get back to this and show you how I hand painted these. So let's start with my, my not so pretty linoleum. I'm going to be working with my roller and a high density. You want to make sure it's a high density foam roller. <clears throat> and I'm going to pour the Bauhaus one step just into my tray and load up my roller. Hey guys, as you pop on here, please say hey. Tell me where you're tuning in from. Hey, Mary Corrado. All right, so once I have that loaded up, I'm basically going to be coming in. As a rule, if I'm going to be doing a Bauhaus buff over a little bit darker color, which is what this is. Now, I will tell you, it doesn't matter if this is linoleum. It doesn't matter if it's a ceramic tile. 
that is the beauty of the one step. We had our one step tested in an independent lab and it outperformed 80 different paints. Once this has cured, and let's say, I really would like for you, once you apply this onto your ceramic tile or your linoleum, let it dry for um, about 72 hours. I would prefer for you to do that because it's gonna cure. Now, I wanted you to see just the coverage of one coat, but I wanted to let it dry about, this first coat needs to dry about an hour or two, and then come back and put the second coat on, and then let's let it, um, let's let it cure. Curing meaning it is going to bond to the surface. Then, so that way, whether I'm painting marble, granite, tile, linoleum, I know I'm good to go. All right, so I wanted to show you that first. So now, this is my ceramic tile that I painted. Again, these are about 15 cents at Lowe's, Home Depot, places like that. But, okay, I'm glad you asked about the grout. That helped remind me. You can, um, you can paint the grout and the tile all together. So I would go in first, cut in your grout, just use an artist brush, or you can use a sponge brush, and you can lay the sponge brush, see how they're, how they're cut, like this, and just lay that into the grout like this, do the grout first, and then come back and roll this on on top of it. So that way you're good to go. So very good question, very good, I love that. All right, so now, after that has dried, what I'm gonna do is this particular stencil that I'm working with, because I love being able to have different designs, is I'm showing you on the tile, one, you don't want them to all look alike, and this is about creating patterns and designs. Of course, you can do an all over pattern, like I did on this one, and it's spectacular. But if I had this, if I, would, I would put this on a floor in a minute. I would put this, and the young girl that I am helping that is building her house, um, that the, uh, the, the painted tiles like this were out of her budget, I was like, no, I can help you with this, and we can literally make these within about two hours for an entire guest bathroom. So that way, here's our vision. This is gonna be our floor, then we're gonna do Venetian plaster on the walls in this gray color, and then do a really cute white lacquered um, mirror frame to go on top of it and some cute brass sconces. Does that not sound like the cutest thing you've ever seen? Anyway, so, so this really can set apart a floor and look spectacular. So after we've painted it, I want you to pick out one of the designs and we've got this um, in the listing here. You can go and um, we've listed all of the stencils that I'm working with today and they're 20% off. All you have to do is enter the code. But I love mixing berries and vines and birds um, and things on my tile. I think it looks really cute. So now I went on and I'll show you, I have this already ready. And I am working with my ink. Now, a lot of people will go, Amy, why are you putting that on there? Here's the deal. When you paint the ceramic tile, linoleum, marble, whatever it is that you're doing, with the one step, the one step bonds with it. So it's gonna give you the protection that you need. We're gonna sandwich this ink in between um, the one step and the sealer that we're gonna put on top. So this is a gorgeous navy, it's called Hush Your Mouth. Did anybody's mother ever tell them Hush Your Mouth? In my house growing up, we couldn't say the S-H-U-T word, um, so she would say um, Hush Your Mouth. All right, so now I'm just gonna spread this ink onto my spreader like this. I'm gonna pull that out just a little bit before I get started, because it's gonna be harder to get it off. Guys, as you pop on here, please say hey. Tell me where you're tuning in from. And I will tell you, this adhesion on this is pretty spectacular. Okay. So I'm just gonna hold this to the side and I'm pulling it through. You see, I was pretty, pretty generous with the amount of ink that I put on here. And what you're gonna notice is that the ink is gonna go down into the one-step paint. It literally, because the one-step paint has a matte finish to it, it will absorb into it. And I do wanna work fairly quickly 
as I'm applying this. Pressing it through, you're gonna have some additional look. And so I've got some left over. I'm just gonna keep working. And I've got all of my tiles that will be laying out. I can just wipe that off. Look at that. I've just got a weakness for little birds. I'm gonna pull him off. Look at that. You know, and a lot of people do, do tiles as artwork. You can frame these little tiles. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go over as far as how you clean it in just a minute. So I want, the first thing I want you to see is the detail. Look at the detail in that. Is that not just absolutely glorious? I love it. So fab. That's why I think these make such adorable tiles. And they really become the artwork and the focal point um, in your home. Sorry. So now this is one that I had done. Let me get this off of here with my ink. So I've got a clean surface. So now um, I've allowed my one step to dry for 72 hours. And then I've come back and I've done my stencil and I've used my ink. Now I want to show you, I'm going to come back. I've got a cup and I'm going to add a little bit of my my ink here, and I'm going to add a little bit of white, not a lot, but just a little bit. Guys, as you pop on here and say, hey, I may not be saying hi now because I'm focused on my project, but I'll go back and I will look at all of your, um, I'll look at all your messages. Y'all are just the sweetest. You, you encourage me so much, and it just, it's such an honor and a privilege for me to be able to, to teach you guys. Thank you. All right, so now I'm adding a little bit of water to my brush and I'm blending this together because I need this to be um, really thin. I just need a wash because what it does, I think you're, you're gonna be really surprised what a difference it makes. I'm blending a little bit of that white with the, um, with the blue because I don't want it too dark. Sometimes I'll get like a little plate from the Dollar Tree and I'll, that's what I'll use as my palette, but I had some cups here and I thought I'll just work with that. So now I blended that together. Now I want you to see, I'm gonna come back. This is what I laid down. This is my corner piece. And I'm gonna lay down my brush. I don't mind getting outside of the lines. You know why? because it allows people that are gonna look at this to know that it was hand painted. They do that intentionally when they're painting ceramics um, and things like this and as far as the, the tiles. So see where that little area got out just a little bit? I'm gonna, I'm gonna kinda even that out just a little bit where it looks like, look at that. That's very desirable to me. Can you see that? Look at that. So now I'm gonna go on and get just a little bit more. And watch what I'm doing. I am, now see that's a little, I got a little bit too much, so I gotta spread this around. I don't want this to look too dark. I want it to look washy. I'm gonna get just a little bit of a paper towel. Offload that just a little bit. Because what's gonna happen is I'm applying this on here very watercolory. It's almost like um, doing a coloring book. You cannot, you cannot mess this up. Some are going to be a little bit darker than others. And if you want, the more confident you become when you start doing it, because I promise it's not difficult, you may want to come back in and add just a little bit more detail and make it just a little bit darker on there. Isn't that pretty? Now I want you to see the difference. So here's one that I did not do the coloring. I just did my stencil with the ink on top of the one step. And look at the difference. See how the other really has a lot more depth? So I wanna come back in just a little bit. I want you to be able to see. The other thing is you don't have to fill all of them in. You might just do a few of them. See the difference already, the depth? It really adds a lot of depth, so maybe you're like, well, I wouldn't use 
I wouldn't necessarily use blue, but I would do, um, I would like to do a really pretty, pretty pink in my little girl's room, or I want to do a really pretty light gray in my master bathroom. We'll do that. I mean, it would look beautiful. So part of the beauty is just being able to see, and I want you to see, I don't have to paint all of them. I'm just going to do them kind of here and there where I've got some composition and I'll leave all those empty. I'll come over here and just do a few. And again, I want you to see how washy it is. Isn't that pretty? Because I want to come back and I want to lay these out together. All right, so now let's lay all four of them together. I want you to see, and I'm gonna walk you through the process. This guy needs to go down here. When you're doing four of them, it's gonna look more like this. So now the next thing I need to do, once this has dried, I'm gonna come back and see the sheen, see the difference of the sheen on this one? Look at that, you can see the reflection with my, my um, light. I'm gonna come back with um, my Bright Idea Spray Lacquer. And basically, I sprayed on top of this, if I'm gonna be working with this and using this as a wall, as a backsplash, as um, something that is not gonna get a lot of wear and tear, then I can use the Bright Idea Lacquer, or I can use a sponge brush and I can apply a polyurethane to it. If I was gonna be working on a floor, um, I probably would use a poly as far as making sure that it's um, really substantial as far as being able to walk on it. But as far as adhering to your tile, the one step is gonna do a beautiful job in that. So I wanted you to see this, how fun it was to be able to do the hand tiles. And now I just wanna show you how to create the one that I'm gonna be using. Look at that, see the difference? It goes from matte and it's got a really glossy, gorgeous ceramic looking tile finish. So in order to be able to create this look, I adore this pattern. I don't know about y'all. This one, this particular stencil is, but first, flowers. Love it. It's just a fantastic pattern. And this is the tile. So I painted the ceramic tile. I'll let you see. So you could, you know, those of you, a lot of you have businesses where you do um, DIY. You could totally sell these on Etsy. You could totally do hand-painted tiles on Etsy. When you're shipping them, I would just put a piece of cardboard in between each one. So I'm gonna lay this down here, piece of paper or cardboard in between each one to be able to protect them. So I'm gonna take out my stencil out of the bag. Don't forget guys, if you share this video and tag some friends, your name is gonna go in for a drawing and we give away product every Monday and we'll announce the winner. All right, so now I'm just gonna pull my stencil away from the backing. And if you're gonna be doing a lot of floor tiles, I would probably buy several of the stencils because that way I keep them going. I don't wash them. I'll do, I'll lay it down and I'll do three or four tiles before I ever wash the stencil. So if you are working on existing tile and it's up, you just paint the grout with the sponge brush with the one step. I worked with a gal and we did all of her kitchen. We painted over her linoleum and I am gonna tell you, it was absolutely spectacular. Spectacular. It really improved the, um, the value of the home. Anybody, when they're, what they're gonna look at um, is bathrooms and kitchens. All right, so now I'm working with our gray. I base coated this in Bauhaus buff, which I think is just a beautiful color. And I'm working with blowing up a storm. I'm gonna lay this down. And again, I am working fairly quickly. I'll normally have um, 
four tiles painted and ready to go and I go one to the other. I just have them laid out. That way I could literally have all the tiles made for um, a small guest bath to be able to do on the floors. And here's the other exciting thing. When we talk about cost-wise, the tiles from Ansax that have patterns like this are gonna run about $20, $25 a piece. You can buy the tile or even tr check out Restore as far as getting them, painting them. You're looking at doing this for under, um, under $2 a piece. And the cool thing is you're able to enjoy the bragging rights from it. And you've got a little bit more opportunity to express yourself. Look at that. That one squirt did this entire tile. All right, so I'm just making sure that I get all my extra off. And look here. Now, I do where I have trouble. See, it, it's pretty it's pretty sticky. I have to make sure that I don't get my fingers in it when I'm working on it like this. So I'll hold it down on the wet part to be able to let you see. I really, I need to let this dry just a little bit more before I start pulling it all off. But I wanted you to be able to see what it looked like because I, I painted this right before we went live. So that's wet. You see how it's gonna dry down just a little bit darker. And I came back with the bright idea I sprayed over it, I did two coats, so this is ready to go. Now I will tell you, if I'm gonna use this on top of a, flo um, a floor, if I'm gonna lay it down on it, I would do a um, high traffic polyurethane. I think that's gonna wear a lot better and you're gonna be a lot happier with it. So, isn't that fun? You think about this little gal that's gonna be redoing her, or building her house, her builder gave her a budget three dollars and ninety cents we have um what i've always said i have champagne taste on a beer budget this allows you to be able to create great looking and sax tiles that would cost upwards some of them up to forty dollars a piece and it's such an easy way for you to really be able to create a gorgeous floor tile or a backsplash tile or even paint your marble so would this work on floor cloths? Oh, oh, absolutely it would work on floor cloths. What I enjoy doing though, is being able to do this hand painted effect with the designs. I just think this is absolutely darling. And all these patterns on tiles are very, very, very much on trend. It's not about white tile anymore. It's about having patterns and looks that are really cute and very artistic. So I hope this helped. I want you to understand that you can craft a beautiful life. You can have beautiful things. We don't have to spend a fortune. We may have to put in a little bit of elbow grease, but there's nothing more fun than somebody coming in and going, that floor is out of this world. And you can say, I did it. It was so much fun. That's when I talk about, it's your turn to enjoy the bragging rights. Have a fantastic Friday. Share this video. Take advantage of the fact that we have the code that you can go into the Facebook group that you see this video and use it and take advantage of getting 20% off on all the products that I use today. Have a great day, everybody. Love you guys. Mwah.